All right, guys, welcome back to another Trailmakers video. Today, ChatGPT is going to be controlling what I build. All right, so let's just go ahead and ask it the first question. What should I build in Trailmakers? Now, I don't really know too much about ChatGPT. I don't really use it that much. So hopefully it can give me something, some sort of idea to build. So let's just see. <laughs> okay, so I think it just kind of gave me a giant spiel of like way too much information. Like, Trailmakers is a sandbox game that encourages creativity and engineering. What you build in the game largely depends on your interests and goals. Here are some ideas to get you started. Yeah, so very broad. Uh, can you give me a specific idea? Holy crap, dude. Okay, it gave me a very detailed list of how to build a futuristic all-terrain exploration vehicle. This type of vehicle combines elements of off-road capability, versatility, and a sleek futuristic design. Here are some specific features and ideas you can incorporate in your into your vehicle. We're gonna go through each point. We might combine a few points, but we're gonna go through each section and uh, start adding it. And right here, it's gonna tell us step one, off-road capability. Design a vehicle that can handle various terrains from rocky mountains to sandy deserts. Use large, rugged tires or even multi-directional wheels for superior traction. So let's go ahead and get started on that. So we're back in Trailmakers, and uh, I might just go with the armored seat. I feel like that is probably the most futuristic looking seat. Okay, and now I just need to build the off-road capability of the vehicle. I need to keep in mind how I kind of want the frame because then I'm obviously going to have to make it very sleek and futuristic looking as per request of ChatGPT. I went ahead and used truck wheels as the rugged tires and then I added some solid suspension. And then finally, now I need to work out the multi-directional wheels ChatGPT talked about. All right, I have the base of the vehicle, the off-roading capabilities built. Hopefully they work. I have not tested it. Um, that is not exactly what was supposed to happen. <laughs> All right, this should hopefully be better now. We've got the four wheel steering for better traction or whatever you can tell it's it's pretty nicely moving up all these bumps and whatnot so it's definitely traversing pretty well i do think i need to upgrade the steering a little bit i've never built four wheel steering before so i didn't really know how to do it i still don't but i'm gonna do whatever i think is best so okay it works so basically what I did was I made it so default is you steer like a normal car uh, with A and D. And then if you want to use crap steering, you just press Q and E and it does that. All I did was add an OR gate to do that. Oh, that was some buttery smooth, buttery smooth uh, suspension there. All right. Well, I think that is step one done. Let's go back to ChatGPT and see what else it told me to add. So the second thing it told me to add was versatility equip your vehicle with modular attachments or tools that can be swapped out depending on the task at hand for example you could have a detachable drilling rig or mining a cargo compartment for hauling resources or even a detachable drone for reconnaissance okay so we're gonna have to interpret this one a little bit better into trail makers because it's not necessarily like possible to have modular attachments that be swapped out well actually i guess you could but there's definitely nothing like drilling or anything so let's start work on that okay so for this section i basically just came up with the idea to have a dedicated spot on the car where you can hot swap different tools to then be able to use for whatever you need to do so i built out that little attachment point and then built a couple different options that i could put in so I made an RPG attachment, a minigun attachment, and then this uh, like crane attachment. It's not exactly as complex as ChatGPT wanted it to be probably, but it is something. Uh, the crane attachment is probably the most complex. If you could maybe grab something, I'm not actually sure. Yep, look, see, we can grab something. Oh my goodness. And uh, go do stuff with it. Okay, uh, now we gotta go back to ChatGPT and see what the next thing is. 
Okay, number three, give your vehicle a futuristic sci-fi look. Use a combination of smooth aerodynamic shapes, advanced materials, and bright eye-catching colors to make it stand out. Okay, so basically I get to make it look cool now. And uh, yeah. All right, so for the sleek futuristic design of the vehicle, I basically just built out some sort of geometric frame and uh, I didn't have too much of a plan, but I do think it turned out pretty good. It's pretty sleek and aerodynamic. Obviously, this part where the modular uh, things come out or where the modular things attach doesn't look the best, but that's because you got to be able to plug them in. And I wanted to make it pretty obvious that that's where that happens. So that was sleek aesthetics. Okay, so now I go into a really long winded way of saying that the next things the AI says to do are either not possible or not practical in Trailmakers. So I'm going to have to skip them, but we can add custom paint and decals to finish this off. All right, then I went ahead and colored the car. I went with a chrome green and a glowing cyan. Probably not the best color scheme, but it's all right. And then I decaled it up with some alien decals. Okay, I have finally finished the chat GPT R. So I don't know if this color scheme is the best color scheme, but I wanted to keep green in there. So yeah, anyways, I think it looks futuristic, alien like something, maybe like chat GPT wanted it to be. So let's just go through the showcase, show you all the features that I made uh, to wrap up the video. So basically we've got driving, we got the normal steering. And then as you guys know, we have the crab steering. So we can go kind of back and forth like this. We've got some pretty good suspension. We have boost, which is something I added that ChatGPT didn't even tell me to. It did tell me to add hidden features and whatnot, so maybe that's one of them. And then we have, of course, the modular pieces that I can plug in, the RPG attachment, minigun, and cargo. Let's put the cargo one on it because it's the coolest. Keep my blocks, we just slide it in. And we can go grab something. We can go up to this guy, pick it up very jankily. Let's extend. Ah! Okay, and then look, yeah, woohoo, we have uh, the ability to, 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 to have a hammer? No, uh, but basically we can definitely very jankily uh, transport cargo, so it's a pretty functional car. Uh, ChatGPT definitely gave me a ton of ideas for this, so that is quite cool. Uh, it's obviously not foolproof because it doesn't really exactly know what the capabilities of the game are, so for some of the things it told me to add, like if I was gonna add the interior comfort, like sleeping area, entertainment systems, stuff like that, it would just be adding it cosmetically and then it would just be like for your imagination. Same thing with like the eco-friendly power source. You could maybe add a power, uh, solar panel looking thing, but it would just be for cosmetics. So it doesn't quite give you a foolproof plan, but it is pretty cool. So uh, anyways, this took me way too long to build, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a like. And check out this video on the screen right now because you'll probably enjoy it too. And with that, we'll see you in the next one. Bye!